Hello, welcome. I'm Wendy Irene from GiveLoveCreateHappiness.com and this message is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Thank you so much for the immense amount of support that you guys gave me last week with the love readings. It really helped this channel grow and it meant so much to me. I just really want you to know that it, that I really appreciate that. And um, every single like and share and subscribing to the channel really touches my heart and I want to thank you for that. So remember this is a collective reading so what I'm picking up is energy. So not every energy is going to belong to every person. So it's really important that you just take what makes sense for you because you don't need to pick up energies that don't belong to you. Also, my whole purpose here is to connect you with your intuition, your higher voice, what's coming up within you. Because the cards and I can't dictate your life and your future. You are the co-creator of your future. That power is within your hands. So really it's about sensing energies and then you listening to whatever's coming up within you, your own higher self, your own inner knowing. And I want you to know that Masculine and feminine energy is really a part of all of us, right? So just because a card comes up as masculine or feminine doesn't mean that if it's a relationship, it's not talking about the opposite sex. So, you know, a, a king could come up and it could be describing the feminine energy. It's just energies. Okay, Taurus, so before we get started, I just got to show you guys something. I've got my really cozy super soft plaid blanket on for these readings and for fall which makes me so happy but i'm a taurus sign and we love to be cozy and we love comfort um and making our home feel like a beautiful environment that's like really soothing for us so i just had to show you that okay let's get started on your reading so your first card is support your life purpose fully supports you and what I'm very strongly feeling is that this is an affirmation that you're being asked to say and to affirm over and over again. Because I know I can really relate to this, this wanting to my life to be supported by the things that I'm passionate about and the things that make me happy, um, that feel like, that feel like they're the you know, the divine skills that are instilled in you that you're born with that, that light you up and the affirming that you can actually be supported in that way and that you are supported. Um, so con continuously so affirm to yourself your life purpose. So my life purpose is fully, sorry, let's try that again. The affirmation would go, my life purpose fully supports me. And the clarifier for that is the high priestess. So look at you standing there all abundant and your beautiful high version of yourself, looking good, feeling good, being, you know, in this luxurious, not in a um, overly materialistic way, but like feeling like your life is luxurious, that you have enough for yourself and to share and you're supported by work that you absolutely love. So the more you affirm this, the more you'll draw it in energetically. Okay, so the next card is compromise. And it's really interesting as you see this all unfold. So, but the thing that I most notice here is not even the word compromise, but the scales. Their need for, this need for balance. So there might be some relationship or area of your life where you're feeling like you really need balance. Um, maybe you feel like you're putting in more effort than the other person. Um, or you're not, you feel like you're not getting the communication that you need or the, the love that you need, or there's just, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship, but it absolutely could. It could be like your work life where you feel like you're putting out way more than you're getting back but there's some area of your life where there's this need for this balance. And the Eight of Pentacles clarifying this, this is really a call for there needing to be hard work and there needing to be communication and there needing to be effort. Um, you know, working for what it is that you want to create. So 
that it may be that there's a relationship where you're really feeling like I need there to be better communication. I need there to be more effort. Um, and this is kind of really weighing on you right now and your need for this balance. So I would focus on feeling it return to balance, feeling like you're getting the effort you deserve, feeling like you're getting the communication you deserve. I would work on feeling that within yourself, focusing on what you want to create to then help manifest that shift as opposed to staying in the energy of I'm not getting what I need, I'm not getting the effort, I'm not getting the communication, like focus on what it is that you want to create. The next card is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there's someone here, it could be you, it could be your person, that there's basically childhood issues healing that need to occur for this person to really fully step into being healthy in the relationship. The devil card clarifies it. So it also means like, can mean some addic some addictions. Maybe they need to forgive their parent for their parents' addictions. Maybe they have addictions and that's their way of coping with childhood issues or there's some kind of addictive behavior staying the same behavioral pattern that isn't healthy for your relationship. So there's this, there's this, there's this call for healing with these two cards. And then after we had compromise, we have the card don't compromise. So this feels like a different energy to me though. To me, this don't compromise means don't compromise on the things that you know in your intuition and in your soul are right for you or, or the best for um, the best path for you. Like don't compromise on your intuition, right? What happens when you compromise on your intuition? You end up walking into situations or that are not right for you or your intuition there is there as like the most amazing guide, right? You know what's right for you within your relationships. You know what's right for you within with the values that the way that you live your life don't compromise on those things you know what i'm feeling is keep being your high vibration self okay um don't lower yourself or anybody and the knight of wands look at this is you overcoming obstacles him this hair overcoming the snake overcoming the negativity overcoming the obstacles like staying true to yourself not compromising on what you know is true for you um, what you know is coming from your intuition and your soul and what you know to be your highest path. Okay, Taurus. So I hope that you've gotten some clarity from this reading. I am really sensing the strength within you here and this ability, like this magical ability to affirm what it is you want to create and to stay true to yourself, not compromise who you are, and that being such a beautiful thing. But like pray for healing when it comes to any family issues that might be getting in the way of relationships. Um, affirm what it is that you do want to create. And you know, I, I know Tauruses are very hardworking, so I know that you're willing to put in the effort. And um, I just feel like this is you. This is you being true to yourself. This is you being fully supported by that which you love, having plenty for yourself and enough to share. Okay, Taurus, I hope that you have a really good week. If this did resonate with you, it would mean a lot if you liked, shared, and subscribed to this channel. And leave me a comment. I read every one and I love reading them. It's such an honor. I hope that that these messages really help uplift you because that's truly what I want to do here. I will see you again very soon with a new message, Taurus. Bye.